Hi guys, in this lecture, I would like you to focus on the fall off, the radius and fall off distance and acquire a great understanding because that will help you a lot in doing your visual effects and your motion graphics and, you know, including some very interesting lights. So please with me open the composition to fall off. And over here we have a single light. If you notice, I removed the ambient light, only one single light. And uh, this is what I would like you to do. First of all, take the cone feathering to zero, okay? And take the fall off to none and take the radius to zero and the fall off distance to zero. And let's notice exactly what we have. We have a light here that will never fall off. You notice, if I take it backward, it will never fall off. In fact, it will stay on all the time. It has no fall off. And it depends on the cone angle for the light. So now you have a nice spotlight over here. So what exactly is a fall off? Imagine yourself in a corridor or in a tunnel and you have a flashlight in your hand. And this tunnel or corridor is really very long, infinite. If you point the flashlight straight towards infinity, after a certain distance, the light starts falling off or disappearing. This is the fall off. Now I have put the fall off on and we notice the light will never, you know, go off or will never fall. Let's try something else. If you come to fall off here, you have three options, the smooth and the inverse square. Let's go for the smooth now. And the light completely disappeared. Why is that? Because the radius of the light is set to zero. Let's increase a bit the cone, okay? And start increasing the radius. I press shift to increase it pretty fast. Here you are. And at a certain point, the light start, you know, coming into existence if you like. And this is a pretty sharp light. The cone uh, feathering is put to zero. This is the cone of the light, not the cone of the spotlight. This is the cone of the spotlight, and this is the cone of the light. You could imagine this in 3D. It's like you take a lampshade that is open from under, and you stick it to the ceiling. Now, from the ceiling to the ground, and it's going to give you a kind of circle on the ground, this is the cone. It starts from here, that's the ceiling, and then it gives you this cone on the floor. So this is the concept of the radius. If you increase the radius, of course, the light increases in distance this is the radius over here okay if you increase it the light is gonna be bigger as simple as this this light is not falling off and it's very unusual but still remember guys you can use it in very many visual effects and motion graphics let's say now the fall off let's take the radius a bit behind just to put it over here okay and then start working on the fall off. If you start increasing the fall off, this will be the distance from the end of the cone to where or how long it's going to take for the light to disappear. This is the fall off distance. So it's from zero and you grow it and start falling off. But it's very natural in After Effects. You notice this is the distance that the light start falling off, meaning the intensity of the light is going to be, you know, diminishing until there is no more light. Look how natural it is here, over here. If you make it even bigger, here you are, you have quite some lighting here. And notice that the distance is increasing and the intensity is inverse to the distance and it's diminishing and becoming totally nil over here. So this is the concept of fall off for smooth radius and fall off distance cool let's put them back to zero zero to the radius and the fall off distance to zero and go to the option of inverse square clamped here you are still we don't have a light so let's try the radius here if you increase the radius notice what's going to happen here the light starts with a very high intensity and immediately after this intensity is start falling off. Okay, let's take it behind and see exactly what happens. Okay, so the light, it takes very long for it to disappear. And actually, at a certain point, I'm going to press shift, it's going to disappear. That's very far distance now. I'm going to bring it back in. Here you are. Wow, I'm pressing shift. Okay, so 
This is the inverse square. It's very bright and it starts falling off. You notice that the use of the fall off distance becomes redundant and useless here because the light is falling off and at a certain point it will disappear of course. So if you play with the fall off distance it's not going to make any difference at all. Now it's up to you. How do you want your light to be? You have the smooth with the fall off distance. Okay, I'm going to give it some. Or you have the clamped or inverse square if you like where it's very bright here and it's falling off. Well, each option here, even the none, has its own applications depending on the visual effects and the motion graphics that you want to create. Most of the time they ask me, okay, how do I create a disco light? Well, this is the disco light, as simple as this. In fact, I'm going to take the fall off down, okay? And let's take the cone down. And here you are. You have a kind of a disco light. Of course, you need to adjust it. I'm just showing you. This is a nice disco light. It moves around depending where you want it. And you can change the colors, put them all kinds of colors. And you have very nice disco light. There are very many movies that there were no disco lights. And they added the disco lights in After Effects. And <laughs> really, you can get fantastic results. Okay, guys. So this is about the fall off, the radius, and the fall off distance. I hope you got the concept 100% and I hope you will use it all the time and make the right decisions of what kind of fall-off you want. Thank you. I will see you in the next lecture.